We just created the circumcenter tool, the orthocenter tool, which I misspelled as orthocenter, but it should be orthocenter, and the centroid tool. So what we're going to do is use these tools to find Euler's line. So if we have a polygon, any triangle, right, we can use these tools to find the circumcenter by clicking on the three points, the orthocenter by clicking on the same three points, oops, points A, B, and C, and the centroid. So we set these up. And if you're having students work on these, you can have them label these points, right? So this would be, going backwards, point D. That was the circumcenter, so we want to label that point D. This is the circumcenter. Point E was the orthocenter. And point F, right, the last point we made was the centroid. Okay. So now when students play with the triangle, they can see just by moving it, maybe something's happening here. What's the interesting relationship between these three points? And if they're not sure about it, you can customize your toolbar when you have a dynamic worksheet. You can set it up so only certain things are available. One of the things you want to make available is the line through two points. Because when you, when you offer this tool, if they make a line through any two of these points, what they'll realize is that as you move this triangle, right, it doesn't matter where the centroid, the circumcenter, or the orthocenter are, they all fall on the same line. And that's a nice way to discover the relationship between these three these things, is that all the centers of a triangle, excuse me, these three centers of a triangle do lie on the same exact line. So that's a fun way to discover it. If you need to, go back and check out how to create these tools so you can think about what you might offer in this worksheet for your students. You know, what kind of text, what kind of questions, um, what tools will you offer, how will you help them understand this amazing relationship. Alright, thanks.